Hi all, this is a first for me. We're doing an unboxing as well as a hands-on review. And this uh, is quite exciting. I've been really looking forward to this one. Uh, you can probably tell, well, you know what the thing is because you searched for the, for the video. So let's get unboxing underway. Uh, let's slice that open. Let's get in there. Right, so in the package that James have sent me is my receipt and that's it. It's a little cardboard box, it's not very much. I'll put that to one side. Then um, a wrapped, it's very thick brown paper and that's it. That's all that is. Thick brown paper, get rid of that. And then we've got the knife in its little Ah, a little wooden box there, uh, and it says first cut. Now I'm, ah, okay, so it's giving me a clue as to what is inside. The Wayland Rosewood Stainless Wood Straight, the James brand, okay, that's all good. Now I don't want to cut this little um, piece of card, so I'm just going to see if, if I can slide slide it out yes i can okay so i'm sliding the tray out ah okay ah there's a little felt sheath we'll put that to one side with the rest of the box here's the product so here it is sitting in a piece of laminated wood it's uh, in the bottom of, of there. It's perfectly shaped to fit the knife. In the bottom of there, a little bit of felt, the same as the little felt sheath. And James, little James logo in there. It's nice, okay. Plastic bag, and there's the knife. So that is the James Wayland Rosewood and titanium and that's what we're going to have a look at so the unboxing is kind of done and let's have a little look at this together and see what we think so whilst I just fondle it I'll tell you about it uh, from from the the specs um, it's the, it's made by the James brand. I won't go into the politics and the rumours and the opinions and the online views that people have of the James brand. Uh, you think of them as you will. Uh, they make knives and other bits and bobs. I have one of their knives in my hand. The the uh, Whether they're a fashion brand or a real brand, um, I'm not interested in that discussion. Um, that can happen elsewhere. This is their take on the Barlow pattern. And I can see, I, I kind of agree, it is it, it, it is a Barlow shape, isn't it? We've got a, a, a relatively long bolster. I think um, traditionally a Barlow bolster would be a little bit longer, but uh, it's pretty, pretty Barlow, uh, teardropish shape. There's no visible hardware. That's one of their... Um, plus points so you can't see any screws or bolts it's kind of cool the steel on the blade is does it say in there let's zoom in a bit it oh hang on hang on let me just see oh gosh it's really small really small i can't see what it says right i can't see what it says on, on the blade itself it's got some some little writing but it's CPM-S35VN stainless steel. So uh, that's a good, that's a good steel. Uh, it's a sheep's foot blade shape, as you can see. I'll just take it off camera and give it a little polish just to get the thumb marks off. There, it looks a bit nicer like that, doesn't it? Uh, designed in Portland, Oregon. Made in China. It's a non-locking slip joint. Good solid half stop. 
Listen to the snap on that. Whew. Really nice, firm, centered, all the good stuff. It's got phosphor bronze washers in there. I'll probably never see those. For all I know, they could be um, muddy concrete washers. I don't know. I mean, I, I'll take their word for it. Uh, I'll take their word for it because it's a super smooth. Yeah, it's super smooth. Little CNC machined nail nick there. Really deep, actually. A very deep uh, nail nick. Just, oh no, it's on both sides, so uh, lefties and righties. To be honest, it is a nail, I mean, it's called a nail nick, but to be honest, it it doesn't require the nail at all. Um, it's a grabby, it's a really grabby uh, blade. So I'm just grabbing that. And finally, well not finally, there's plenty still more to talk about, rosewood scales. Those are really nice, those rosewood scales. Um, now, the problem, I imagine, with any wooden knife, uh, or sorry, a knife with wooden scales, is because it's a natural product, what you get, the grain that you get, is um, potluck. You might get a grain that you really like. You might get a grain that's not that appealing. Anyway, this grain, I really like it. I think it's, uh, I think I've got a good one. Now, interestingly, on the internet, uh, this uh, knife is billed as rosewood and titanium with a stainless steel blade. On the James Brand website itself, it doesn't mention uh, t titanium on the, um, on the product listing. So... I'm just going to see if I can figure out which bits titanium and which bits are stainless steel. So obviously the rosewood is the scale. Obviously the blade is the stainless steel. Now if we look at the bolster, uh, I'll try and get that focused. The bolster, I would say, is probably titanium. With the logo inlay, inlay inset inlay um it's probably a little stainless steel uh inlay now the frame of the knife sorry the bolster on the uh on the one side has the logo the bolster on the other side doesn't have the logo those are though that's titanium isn't it i'd i'd be surprised if i'm wrong but the frame of the knife around it is not the same colour and I would say that that is to, uh, the stainless steel as well. So we've got the spring is, is stainless steel, the frame of the knife is stainless steel and the blade is stainless steel. So we've got this uh, very traditional Barlow shape. There is a lanyard tube in there. Um, which is nice. Uh, you can see all the way through. Uh, it, that needs a little bit of um, tidying up. There's a little bit of material in there. I'll, I'll get a little bit of leather and make a nice lanyard for that, I think. Uh, but I like a, a, a lanyard on, on my knives. That's really handy. On the blade itself, we, uh, we can see the James brand stroke logo um and it's a nice blade isn't it great, great big uh sharp point to it is it sharp let's get a bit of paper and, and try it doesn't matter if it's sharp because because uh you can sharpen it but yeah yeah that's pretty sharp yeah pretty sharp so, overall, what do we think? I mean, it's clean, isn't it? It's nice. Very attractive knife. Really well 
made in terms of snap and uh, walk and talk, as they say. It feels good in the hand. One slight disappointment is the fit and finish here. A little bit of a gap between the rosewood and the frame there. I don't know if I'm being fussy or whether that's not really good enough. I might contact them and see what they say. However, you know, a, a few months in the pocket and it's going to be scruffed up and um, that little gap will be all, will be forgotten about. Let's measure it so you can see uh, the dimensions. It's, um, they're closed, it's 9.7 centimetres long. Thick, it's got a sort of a, a bulb, bulbous nature to it, like a bulgy bit, so at at its um, at the bolster end, it's uh, sort of eight nine millimeters thick, and then down at this end, um, it bulges out to be twelve thirteen millimeters thick. So it's got a not only does it have a teardrop shape that way, but it also teardroppy sort of shape that way. Open the blade length is 7.8 centimeters with the cutting edge itself 7.3 or 4 centimeters and the thickness of the blade is uh, 2 millimeters um, it's a it is pretty sturdy it definitely feels strong it, it, it it's uh, yeah it's a sturdy feeling slip joint it, gives, it, it, it definitely inspires confidence so there we go that's the James brand Wayland pretty good pretty nice I should just point out um, people like to talk about uh, the flush in whether it's flush in the three positions now it's closed and it's not completely flush. There's a slight raised element there. Now in the half stop, uh, it's the same. I can feel the spring with my nail and then fully open, it's the same. So it's not flush in any of the three positions, but it's exactly the same in all of the three positions. Um, so it's just slightly off. Is it worth the money? Only you can decide. I like. Oh no, we haven't looked at the. We haven't looked at the sheath. Let's have a look at the sheath. Little felt sheath. Nice little green logo there. Let's pop it in the sheath and see what that's like. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it doesn't pop in easily, actually. Yeah, that's nice. Carry that in your pocket. Save it getting scratched. It's not super practical. I think you probably want something a bit more um, specific for it. But until you've got something in line specific, specifically for it, that will do the job. It's nice. Nice little thing. So overall, I really like it. It's a beautiful shape. It's beautifully designed. The colours, the materials, it's all d absolutely delightful. The fit and finish, I'm a little bit disappointed at this price point. It's not a custom, I understand. Um, it is... Um, um, uh, what would you call it? It's it's you know it's, it's made in a factory in China, uh, but it's not uh, it's not cheap. I would have expected perfection to be honest, and I might have a quick chat with uh, James, the James brand, and see what they have to say about the um, 
the flushness of the spring and the gap uh, where was the gap the gap between the um, yeah the gap between the scales and the frame see what they say but we've had a look at it what are your thoughts leave your comments below I'd be uh, really interested to hear what you think uh, and please subscribe to my channel for more reviews I do knives I like knives I do lots of watches as well and other EDC gadgets so please subscribe that'll be really helpful and I, pre I really appreciate it click like if you've liked the video don't click like if you didn't um, I, 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 I'm the kind of sensitive type I find it upsetting when someone doesn't like my video but hey if you didn't like it fair enough um, and uh, have a look around my channel see what else uh, you like the look of I did review another James uh, knife a little Elko um, and uh, that's that's on my channel you could have a look at that um, that might be of interest to you thanks very much for watching I'll see you soon